Konnichiwa party peeps, Manga Man here. As promised, I am starting up a new type of video vlog series where I take a look at an anime series and talk about each individual episode. Yes, very reminiscent to Doug Walker, aka the Nostalgia Critics vlogs when he did Adventure Time and uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I decided to start off with an anime that has been one of my favorites for the longest time. And we're going to start from the beginning of the series. We are looking at Lupin the Third, the first series, part one. Uh, this is the green suit Lupin the Third era. I hope to be able to post up these videos on YouTube, and hopefully YouTube will not flag me for just talking about stuff. I am hoping here. Try to work with me here with YouTube. Anyways, these will be very kind of casual, uh, podcast or just vlog type style videos. Don't expect too much of what I usually do for reviews. This is just kind of very laid back. Something to keep me active on YouTube so I can keep on posting videos. So let's first start by talking about the two pilot episodes that are featured actually on this DVD collection, thankfully that they were able to do so. Uh, the one thing that I would like to say about uh, Loop on the Third series is that it's had a hard time fully coming into the States. Sure, we've received a bunch of the OVAs, several movies, specials, but the only reason, the only reason that we are lucky enough to get a hold of the Loop on the Third, the first series, is thanks to the people at Eastern Star and also for the fact that this series features a lot of the episodes that were directed by Hayao Miyazaki and Isao Takahata from Studio Ghibli. So it's because of those big names here that they were able to give a verification to post up this series on DVD and thankfully we got a hold of this. Now if we can just get a hold of the original dub for the second series. Oh, that'd be epic. But yes, enough stalling. The pilot episodes. The pilot episodes for the Loop on the Third series, there were two different versions. The first one we'll talk about is the theatrical version. The theatrical version uh, features a slightly different cast of voice actors playing the parts of all of our favorites, Zenigata, Lupin, Fujiko, Jigen and Goemon. There's also another character in there that is mentioned, uh, some Kojiro or something. He's like an older detective that's supposed to be helping Zenigata, but as far as I have known, and I've watched a lot of Lupin, a lot of the Lupin the Third series, but I haven't watched all of it yet, so I don't know if he ever appears again. So far as I know, this is the only mention of such a character and that he may or may not appear again. Uh, but this is your kind of basic pilot episode. It's basically showcasing the characters, what they are about, and stuff. And strangely enough, for both Lupin and Fujiko, they both kind of discuss their clothing aesthetics, like even their own type of brand where they outsource to get their custom fit clothing. Uh, as well as mentioning little fast facts such as uh, one of Lupin the Third's cars, which, do not ask me what type of car it is, all I know about it, and I'm not really good at cars, what I do know about it, and that they mention, is that it's actually based on a favorite car design that uh, Hitler once used. I don't know what this says about Lupin, but, I don't know. For those of you that don't know about the Lupin the Third series, uh, this series is based around either the Phantom Gentleman Thief Lupin Arsene Lupin or more accurately his descendant Lupin the third, the third generation. And then he, and they make mention of this throughout all the different series, both the first, second, third, and maybe even the fourth one. I got the fourth one, I've seen it very good. But yeah. Not much to talk about the pilots here because, again, there isn't too much to say. Uh, it is interesting that they supplied two pilots and that they changed the voice actors for both Inspector Zenigata and Lupin in both instances. 
And yet neither of those voice actors, I don't think, continue on to the main series. Uh, they m mostly are just there for the pilots because they were just trying to figure out like what voice should Lupin have. And so we went through two different versions of him. And then it would end up with the final version of Lupin III, Yasuo Yamada, who would play Lupin throughout the entirety of the first Lupin III series. And he... I think he was also the voice of him in uh, the castle of Cagliostro. Though, and I could be mispronouncing that terribly right there, I apologize for that. But I don't really know for certain. I would have to look into that later. Uh, but for pilots, they're pretty fun. It's basic, it's as basic as a Lupin plot as you can get, where Lupin is wanting to get out of a sticky situation with Zenigata and the police, and he concocts this crazy scheme that uh, pulls off all wells in the end. Uh, what is interesting to note is the animation between the standard and theatrical versions. They both use the same animation, yet the standard version, which came out after the theatrical version, contains, explains things a bit more than the theatrical version. For example, in the theatrical version, it starts off with a gunfire, and then we switch over to Zenigata playing a game of uh, Go over the phone. No, not Go, not Go, not Go. Uh, I forget the name of it, that Chinese checkers type game. Uh, I, I don't remember what it's called, sorry. Uh, and there's no real context as to why they're doing this. Uh, but in the standard version, they uh, go on to say, go on to show that the phone rings, Zenigata picks it up, and like, uh, he's, he's, he was just playing the Chinese checker game to begin with, but he's on the phone and he starts playing the game with Lupin on the other line. And that's an interesting thing that they uh, saw that, hey, this doesn't really match up. We should kind of explain it just a little bit more. Uh, frankly, I'm a little bit uh, surprised. Surprised mostly that the film was able to get, that the series was able to get greenlit uh, with that pilot. Uh, it is really, truly thanks to uh, Monkey Punch's popularity and uh, the Loop on the Third manga that the series was able to continue on. The pilot, to me, kind of feels more like a formality, like they felt like they kind of had to do it to kind of like show the executives or the people that would fund it, like, hey, this is what we hope to do with Loop on. Uh, what do you think? Can you please supply us with money? A very basic bullet point, they go over each character's characteristics. Uh, they go over Lupin the Third, Fujiko, Jigen, Goemon, and Zenigata without going too much into their uh, backstories at all, just kind of like telling about the character. Like Lupin is a funky and psychedelic guy, where uh, Fujiko is a very, is quite a woman type thing. Jigen is the sharpshooter. Goemon, uh, at first Goemon in this series was a little bit of an enemy of Lupin. Uh, he was kind of after Lupin for, I guess, well, we'll get into that episode. We'll get into Jigen's episode when we get to that. But yeah, those were basically the two pilot episodes. I hope I've explained myself enough here that it wasn't too random here and I hope to uh, make more of these episodes and uh, let me let me hear what you guys think in the comments below what do you think of me doing this for the Lupin series I do plan on going through both parts one two and three and four and uh, after that who knows I might even start going into the loop on the third movies but as a special type of ones for those but I first want to see how the reception for these videos go. So let me hear what you guys think. Please comment below. I love hearing your guys' comments, no matter how ridiculous or stupid they are. 
And this is the Manga Man signing off. Check me out on Twitter. I post up all my news, updates on my reviews, what I'm up to, or what videos I've been liking lately, as well as check out my new Daily Motions account. I am currently uploading all the past videos now with all of the fully unedited content videos. That means Anime of the New Year is an hour-long video, but you can go through it in sections if you want. All up to you. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you have a nice day.